Okay, so here we are back talking about timers again. Uh, as you can see here, I, I left the screen up here for the uh, timer on. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. So one thing I want to share with you is that you can highlight all these rungs over here on the left, holding shift and select the whole thing. And you can either right click and say delete rungs, or you can hit the delete button on, this, on the keyboard. Either way works just fine. So now, I've, as you can see here, I have cleared all the rungs in main routine. So now I'm going to go ahead and create the same thing, only using the timer off. So this time I'm going to come in here, I'm going to do this guy. I'm going to go back to timers here. This time I'm going to grab the timer off. Again, I'm having that same issue again. I don't understand it really. There she goes. I'm just going to have a binary mid for this guy. Again, I think I'm going to just go in here and grab right the timer zero. Okay, I'm going to grab right under the timer zero. Okay, so now I've got my uh, my program here. I've got them all set with uh, a, a bit and a, and a timer. I got a thousand already in there from the previous timer in there. I'm just going to stick with that because one second on. So let's go. Uh, let's go ahead and download that guy and see what we got going on here. So as you can see, the very first thing that takes place here is as soon as I download that, you see what it did? It populated the accumulated value with the preset value. Why do you think that is? How do you think that works? That timer off value is a, uh, is a value based off of not watching the bit turn on, but after it starts timing after the input turns off. So let's watch this real closely, see how this actually works. So I'm going to go ahead and toggle this bit real quick. And first thing you'll see is the enable and the done bit turn on immediately. So that enable and done are on right now, okay? So as soon as the input comes on, the done bit turns on. Okay, this is something you need to be aware of. You will be tested on it, I guarantee it. So when that comes on, that comes on, okay? Let's, uh, let's keep that in mind. So when we're using timer offs, what happens? The input turns on, the done bit turns on. It is not until I turn off this bit that the done bit uh, actually turns off after the timer is done timing. Let's put a larger value in here again like we did before and see how that responds to that. So let's go here and toggle this bit again and toggle this bit back off again. It is at that time you will see the done bit is still on and turns off after the timer's done. Let's go ahead and add that logic that we added before where we put those rungs in there. I'm going to create a rung. I'm going to put a uh, here and I want to do an output afterwards. I don't understand why it's doing that, putting the output before the input. Remember, I, if you try putting two outputs in series, I am not going to accept that. So just be aware of that, okay? We'll go ahead and grab timer, do, 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 zero, bum, 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 timer zero, dot enable. I'm going to assign this to binary one. I'm already using binary zero, so I got to use binary one. And then I'm going to copy this wrong. I'm going to paste it. again. Copy and paste is so much faster, guys. So make sure when you're doing programming, don't focus on creating the logic. Focus on what you can copy and paste. It's so much easier. So here I'm just going to pull down the TT, and here I'm going to pull down the DN. See how much easier that is? Here I'm going to do this, so I'm going to grab two, I'm going to grab three. Uh, see how fast that was? That's really easy to do, and uh, it, it just takes a little bit of thinking ahead, thinking, oh yeah, all I got to do is copy and paste this, and it's so much faster. So so let's, uh, let's uh, go ahead and download this. Okay, so now I downloaded it. The first thing you can see again is it populated that, uh, that accumulated value with a thousand again. 
So I'm gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and make it something a little sore so we can actually see what's going on there. So I got five thousand. I'm gonna toggle this bit as you can see here. Toggle bit or Control T. That's uh, I can also use Control T. So let's try Control T for a bit. See if how that works for us. So it toggles on, toggle it off. So it's not until I turn it off that we see it starting to time. And as one is done timing, all the bits turn off. You notice this. The enables off timer timing is not timing and the done bit is no longer on let's try that again and let's watch it a lot closer okay so i close this contact i see enable and done on enable is on done is on you see these two bits here are on if we look in the data table we should see the same thing let's uh, let's validate that if we're looking over here we've got um So I have, um, excuse me, I got uh, 5,000 in the preset, zero in the accumulator, enable is on, timer timing is off, and done bit is on. Okay, so that, that all corresponds. If we look at the binaries again, we would see, what would we see? We would see the binaries. Let's take a closer look at that. The binaries, we have binary zero on, one. Binary one is on. One binary two is off zero binary three is on one. Okay, so yes, the uh, the binaries do align with the data table as I would anticipate. So now let's watch this closely. So I'm going to toggle this off. I'm going to hit the control T. I'm going to toggle binary zero off. Control T is going to toggle it off. Let's watch what happens here immediately. So the first thing that's going to happen is the enable is going to what turn off because it's not enabled anymore. The done bit's going to stay on because why? Because it's not done timing yet. And the timer timing is going to turn on. Okay. Let's take a look. Control T. Oh, I got to be I got to be on this guy. Control T. So, now we're seeing the timer timer timing and done bit is off. So as soon as that done bit turned off, bam, as soon as we hit 5,000. So, so let's do that real quick again. Enable's on, timer done's on. Enable's going to turn off, timer time's going to turn on. Watch this. Just like that. And then as soon as it hits 5,000, these two bits drop out. Okay? So when you're using the, the timer off function, keep this in mind, that done bit, turns on immediately does it it does it's, there's no off delay it's not it's not as intuitive as the timer on so um go through this video a couple times if you have to but make sure you understand how that timer off works because there will be opportunities for you to use it and uh if it's not used properly it, it will cost you so points and whatnot so keep that in mind all right we will catch you on the next one talk to you later